Hello, uh, this is John Paul Jung. I will introduce Introduction to Computer Networks course. My name is John Paul Jung. I am a professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at SKKU. My research uh, major is Internet of Things IoT, such as vehicle networks, including MAC protocol, routing protocol, and navigator. My phone number, my email address is like this, and my office is 85468 Corporate Collaboration Center, Natural Sciences Campus in Suwon. What is this course? We will study the introduction to computer networks and some advanced topics. For example, OSI, Open Systems Interconnection, model such as physical and data link layers, network layer, transport layer, and application layer. As the best topics, circuit programming and network simulation. Course in this course, through the various topics, you can have the basic knowledge about computer networks. Secondly, you can understand the principles of computer network protocol design and implementation. Thirdly, uh, learn network socket programming and computer network simulation. And lastly, learn how to work in computer networking areas. We have uh, two textbooks. Main textbook is uh, computer networking a top-down approach written by Cruz and Loss. Supplemental textbook is Computer Networks written by Tannenbaum. Uh, this course is split class. So um, we'll use the, the format of a split class that follows. First step, watching pre class video lecture. You will preview the day's class content before class in iCampus. Secondly, content review and group activity. We will review the day's class content in class and also I will explain group activity problems in class. And then you guys uh, work for group activity presentation with your group members and then uh, you will present group activity answers in another class. Firstly, uh, online offline discussion. So you can discuss the course group activity, homework, and other class content after class using online tool or you can meet offline. Uh, this uh, video clip uh, explain the flipped class so you can watch okay this uh, video clip you can have the idea of what the flipped class looks like. Let me explain a uh, group activity each group consists of two or three students in one class, three sometimes pro problems are given to groups for problem solving during the class. The groups will make their answers in PowerPoint slides and submit the slide to iCampus. In another class, the groups will present the answers in class. The course TA will create the submitted slides. You have four homework assignments. Homework assignments are based on textbook and relevant articles. Each homework assignment will have several problems and article leading, such as magazine articles related to computer network. And also, we have two programming assignments. First one is socket programming, and the second one is network simulation that should be uh, implemented in C or C++. We have two exams. 
first one is midterm exam and second one is a final exam. Midterm exam, the coverage is link layer, network layer, and wireless and mobile networks. And final exam, the coverage is a transport layer, multimedia networking, and application layer. Remember, this final exam is a non-cumulative exam, just including the topics after the midterm exam coverage. Note, all assignments and exam papers should be written in English because this is, course is an international course. Let me explain uh, grading policy, attendance 3%, group activities 20%, for assignments 20%, per assignment has 5%, midterm exam is 27%, final exam is 30%. For attendance, for time absence is lead to uh, F grade, so, so you can omit the classes three times, more than four or more than three okay in that case uh, your grade will be uh, F grade remember absence with a reasonable reason without free notice will be considered the one light attendance so if you have uh, some emergency you can uh, notify me by email or my office uh, phone number Two rate attendances are equivalent to one absence. For, for assignment, each assignment must be submitted before the class on the due date. Remember, late assignment submission will not be accepted. Also, I encourage you guys to discuss with your classmates or uh, group members you can uh, discuss with each other. However, the answering should be done individually. Final grading is based on the absolute scale of the total score 100 points with the following guideline. For example, A plus, you should get at least 80 points, okay? Note that the final grading policy will be determined according to the guideline above and your class performance, which means you, know, you guys are working hard and you can collaborate uh, with each other actively. Also, you can engage in the class actively. So I can lower this um, boundary, such as if you guys are working hard, also I observe the average. Um, I can change 80 to 75 or 70 according to your overall performance or also your attitude to classes. This table shows the course schedule. We have uh, 15 weeks. Week 1, uh, course introduction, introduction to a company Nectos or yeah this one is explained okay and week three week two and three uh, we will study link layer and local error networks and week four and five we will study network layers and week six and seven uh, we'll study wireless and mobile networks and week eight we will review the coverage of midterm exam, and then another day you can take midterm exam. From week 9 through week um, 15, week 9, uh, your study transport to layer first part, and then uh, you will run socket programming for homework 3, and then uh, you will study transport to layer okay and then uh, computer network simulation example and OMN plus plus okay so multimedia uh, networking okay with salting simulation and OMN SMPL uh, you're learn 12 so homework 
4 is based on a computer network simulator, especially OMNA++, okay? And the week 13, 14, uh, you will study multimedia networking and application layer. And uh, review, uh, week uh, 15, I uh, will review the coverage of a final exam. And then in the last class uh, uh, day, uh, you will take a final exam. So I will explain introduction to a uh, computer networks. So our goal is uh, we can get some feel and we can know the terminology in more depth in detail. Uh, we'll study later uh, classes, and then um, uh, we can uh, use the internet as an example learn computer networks okay overview what is the internet what's the protocol network edge network core so we can define our terms and also we will see the definition of performance and the security and protocol layers service model finally okay we can review history of the uh, internet first one is uh, what is the internet so you can see um, the Earth has many uh, devices uh, nowadays, okay? Uh, such as uh, a wide uh, area network that spans the planet is called the internet. So who owns the internet? So many uh, nations are connected to each other. So this figure shows the internet architecture, right? So, so network access point to connect to other country international lines and the under network access point so national networks also we have a regional network national network under this one ISP internet service provider network company or campus network university network and online service network something like that so we have many networks like this so what's the internet not an port okay so we have uh, this one is called the uh, end system or host okay so we have uh, a communication link wireless link and the wireless link okay also we have a network um, device is called a router or switch so fun internet appliances okay so in the middle you can see a toast so this toast uh, reflect the weather on the toast. This is sunny means uh, today is sunny and cloud this uh, bond means today the weather will be cloud. So the internet is defined as network of networks so you can see many networks uh, connect to each other right so this is called the internet network of networks. So protocol is uh, language for network devices, okay, they uh, send control message and data message. So protocol example is the TCP, IP, HTTP, Skype, Auto eleven for Wi-Fi, and those uh, protocols are standardized by standard body uh, such as uh, ITF. ITF stands for Internet Engineering Task Force. Also, ITF standard document called RFC. RFC stands for Request for Comments. Okay. So, infrastructure that uh, provides services to um, applications, right? These infrastructure like networks are provide many a uh, kind of services uh, such as web, World Wide Web. Uh, VoIP, voice over IP, email, games, e-commerce, uh, social uh, networks, uh, SNS, okay, social networking services. Also, the open source projects provide uh, programming interface to application developer, okay, so we can easily develop using the API, okay, application a programming interface okay so the protocol we can 
define okay human protocol is a kind of language so english grammar something like that now the protocol is uh, the machine language okay so all communication activity is based on this network protocol okay so we have analogy alice and the bot can communicate this uh, sequence hi hi got the time two o'clock okay this okay sequence is used to communicate with each other and computer networking case for example tcp case tcp connection request sent to server and the server response and then the pc personal computer send some url okay the website link sent to server and then uh, this web server delivers uh, the corresponding file so let's move on second one is a network edge so network edge uh, consists of uh, host computer and the servers okay especially located in uh, data centers also we have access network so this okay laptop smartphone vehicle and servers okay uh, so those kinds of uh, elements construct uh, network edge and the access network is uh, this base station or access point okay they providing wired or wireless communication link for this terminals and the network core is this routers okay so interconnect the routers and they construct network or networks such as internet so how to connect and the system such as smartphone, laptop, vehicle to edge router. So this kind of residential uh, network or institutional network, access network can be used, okay? Or mobile base station uh, network, okay, is used. So uh, this figure shows one typical the house network. Um, digital subscriber line DSL so typical DSL is based on telephone line okay telephone line uh, they have digital subscriber line modem and then voice and data service can be combined using DSLAM okay so this telephone line based uh, DSL uh, service uh, used in the past okay Nowadays we are using cable network, okay? So cable network providing um, the video, so cable TV service and the data service together. So video and uh, data service provide using uh, different uh, channels, okay? So they are using frequency division multiplexing technologies. And typical cable network uh, is uh, HFC, hybrid fiber, okay they provide the uh, asymmetric service okay downstream case 30 megabps and the upstream case 2 megabps different bandwidth okay so the network cable fiber attached to home to ISP router like this okay so this the CMTS okay CMTS is a cable modem terminal nation uh, system okay those houses okay connected to isp internet service provider using this cable modem termination system okay and this figure shows a typical home network so your home you have uh, the router and wi-fi access point right nowadays wi-fi access point some Okay, this modem, okay, is connect to each other. For louder case, optional. Okay, so this one, the extra point can connect to directly. So this modem and the router can combine nowadays. Okay, so cable over DSL modem, and router fire NAT network address translator, and uh, nowadays uh, one gigabps okay internet is used so in the past we use 100 mbps while the line and also we can provide the wireless access wi-fi service okay so this is uh, 
in the past uh, to the 11 B something like that um, so nowadays we have uh, the more bandwidth okay so 11 B over 11 G nowadays 11 M is used so we have a smartphone and the laptop desktop computer are connect to Wi-Fi access point over router so this figure shows enterprise access networks okay so such as our SKK campus network so our SKK campus network has a switch and the router okay they can uh, connect the servers or user terminal computer to the uh, wired or wireless network okay so uh, we can provide the two kinds of wireless access network using Wi-Fi, wireless LAN, local area network, or wide area wireless network, such as 3G, 4G LTE, or 5G nowadays. Okay. So let me explain the definition of uh, packet transmission delay. So you can see uh, we have a message such as uh, Google Gmail case we have a large message so we need to divide multiple packet such as one um, kilobyte something like that and so one imagine this two packet construct a gmail message okay so we can transmit one packet one packet at a time over this link such as the internet link so in order to calculate packet transmission delay so time needed to transmit L bit packet into the, this world link or wireless link. So the message, okay, this packet size L divided by the bandwidth is R bit per second is used. So physical media, uh, we have this kind of uh, um, twist pair for uh, Ethernet. RJ45 okay jack also we can use a uh, coaxial cable for cable modem also we can have a, a fiber optic and cable okay for a uh, gigabyte ethernet and so physical media case we have a radio okay so using terrestrial microwave in the past we using these kinds of the terrestrial microwave for wireless communication. Nowadays we are using a uh, local area network, Wi-Fi, and the cellular network such as uh, 3G, 4G, LTE, 5G. Cellular like case uh, white like coverage. Okay, so but the delay is uh, quite long. Uh, next, um, we are learn a network core such as the packet switching circuit switching network structure so packet switching case uh, host break application layer message into multiple packets okay so you can see a previous one case for example your laptop computer send a gmail message right so attaching some um, voice or video the message quite large right so in that case you can divide that message into multiple packets okay so you send this access point and then access point to forward the packet into this uh, routers router uh, using router, routing protocol and the forwarding mechanism and the forward towards the destination server or other uh, end system host uh, we are using packet switching okay in the figure you can see a b is uh, we can say um, this end system and c d e is a router and f is a destination server so a and b sending packet okay so a is a message divided into multiple packet a's b case b's okay and the router, depending on the routing protocol porting table, it stands the next hub. Okay. So one uh, phenomenon is the packet one to three are delivered uh, in 
uh, order sequentially. However, receiver side case, the order of reception of a packet may be different. For example, one, two, three are sent one uh, one at a time, but receiver case uh, packet two, packet three, packet one. Okay, let's see this order two, three, one because of of uh, uh, routing pass changed. Okay, so two, three, and one. This group, this one, taking a different route. So the routing uh, protocol will run later on because of routing protocol change, the routing pass. Eventually, two and three uh, delivery is uh, speed up, and then arrival time. Uh, is earlier than packet one. Okay, so remember, the message are sent by packet switching and uh, take a message, break it into three packets and simulate this process like this. Okay, so packet switching case based on a uh, store and port. So you can see one packet delivered to next hub router. So whole message bit is sent to bit levels 4 bits and received and then L bits are received and then we can check check some over CRC CRC means the cyclic redundance uh, on check um, so we can figure out the bit error okay cyclic redundancy check or uh, CRC check and then uh, we can pair out. Okay, some packet is corrupted. Okay, so whole packet received is called the store. After that, it can port to next hub. Port. That's why we can call this procedure is a store and port. Okay. So this uh, packet switching case we have a queen delay and loss because. The router has a queue to receive a packet from multiple packet sources, okay? And then the packet alive and then according to some packet discipline, queuing discipline, first, the compressed server, right? In that case, the order of arrival determines the departure order, okay? Uh, remember, this computer Q is a limited memory, so if a library late to link exceeds transmission rate of link for a period of time, packet will Q wait to be transmitted on link, this uh, link, while the link packet can drop because of memory is, okay, fills up, there is no room to receive uh, another packet, so the packet will be dropped. From now on, uh, I will explain two key network core functions such as uh, routing and uh, forwarding. So routing determines the source destination route taken by packet using routing protocol such as uh, RIP routing information protocol RIP or OSF. Okay, often sorted path first. So using this routing protocol, we decide the next hub from source to destination, okay? So forwarding case, the move packet from router's input to appropriate router output, okay? So, so for example, this router interface is, okay, incoming interface, and the one, two, three are outgoing interfaces. According to routing protocol, it uh, construct a routing table given destination Okay, such as head development destination address and uh, determines output link, such as output interface. For example, this router receives this packet 0111 is 0 01 is two, interface 2, right? That's why the packet port to this link, this interface of this router. On the other hand, we have uh, a circuit switching. So Circuit switching is for a telephone uh, network, okay? Such as in order to uh, send uh, data bits from source A toward 
uh, destination station or node app, uh, we should set up this path. Okay, it is called the core setup. So in order to core setup resource for this receiving forwarding bandwidth as it are reserved, okay. So end to end the resources allocate to or reserved for core between source and destination, like this source and destination. In the middle, the network system device is a setup path. Okay, allocating the resources. Okay, so this is called the virtual circuit. Circuit. So circuit switching implemented based on FDM versus uh, TDM. FDM stands for uh, frequency division multiplexing. Okay, this ac uh, horizontal axis is a time and the vertical axis is the frequency, okay? So we have uh, four channels. We can allocate each channel per person, so four users are solved simultaneously. On the other hand, time division multiplexing case, horizontal axis is time, and then vertical is the frequency. Whole vertex uh, channels, this range, uh, channels are fully used, but time slots are divided into, and then we can allocate uh, one time slot to each person, okay, like this, okay? So user one, two, three, four, uh, allocate each time slot, and then repeat this okay, period, okay? Now this table compares between packet switching and circuit switching, okay? So this one is uh, the items to compare two switching schemes. So dedicated copper pass, dedication pass case, uh, circuit switching, just uh, dedication pass, okay? Packet switching case, no dedication pass. Bandwidth available, this one is a dynamic, so maximum bandwidth is used, however, Circuit switching just the reserve required the bandwidth, okay? So this fixed bandwidth. And the potentially waste of bandwidth case, packet case, there is no reservation, which means no uh, waste. However, circuit switching case, certain uh, virtual circuit reserved, there is no actual data, which means that, okay, circuit, uh, waste of bandwidth, okay? And store and forward case, packet case, packet level packet deliver the store at each router or destination and then forward, right? So this is a store and forward transmission. Circuit case is just a bit stream, just delivered. There is no boundary of packets. And each packet followed the same route. Remember, Packet switching, they are learning routing protocol and actual forwarding is determined certain network condition. Circuit switching case, okay. Once core set up, the path is set up, that path is used during the session. Core set up case, packet switch case, no need, and circuit switching is required. And when can conjecture call? Every Packet can experience that conjunction, but uh, circuit switch case at setup time conjunction. If there is a no uh, available resource, means that request call blocked. And effect of conjunction, packet switching case uh, queuing delay sometimes. Uh, okay, packet drop, packet loss happen. On the other hand, uh, circuit switching case just call block waiting for available resource. And this slide uh, explains packet switching allows more users to use network, okay? So, for example, uh, end users, okay, are using this network router and then this one megabps link is shared by end users, okay? However, circuit switching case the limited user can use, okay? So, 
uh, we have assumption is each user each one is active okay that transmission bandwidth is, is uh, 100 K okay bits per second okay and uh, of all 10% time is active okay which means given time this probability is used to transmit so we can calculate you can see um, 100k bits and so how many people so just 10 people right we can divide right this one and th this one case uh, 10 user can be used okay we need reserve each okay virtual okay circuit for user however uh, packet switching case 35 user probability just uh, 10 active at the same is uh, this kind of probability is uh, 0 uh, point zero zero four right so 35 percent uh, users can share this link okay so we can um, calculate how to calculate come up with uh, 35 this is for your, your homework okay and then the uh, packet switching and the circuit switching so packet switching slam dunk winner this is always good so great for uh, bursty data so bursty data is good resource sharing simple no core setup however accessible conjunction possible packet delay packet loss okay so protocol need needed for reliable data transport conjunction control required the accessible conjunction case and also using uh, the principle of a circuit switching so how to provide circuit like behavior to packet switching okay so bandwidth guarantees needed for audio and video applications still uh, is an unsolved problem so many people try to uh, use the idea of circuit switching for packet switching method okay and the human analogies of uh, reserved resources this is a circuit switching versus on-demand allocation this one is uh, packet switching and then uh, let's move on internet structure network of networks so and the system connect to internet by uh, access ISP internet service providers residential company university ISPs so access ISPs in turn must be interconnected so that any two hosts can send packet to each other okay so resulting network of network is very complicated or complex so evolution uh, was driven by economics and national policies okay so let's take a stepwise approach to describe current internet structure This figure shows the uh, internet structure, network of networks, okay? So if we have many kinds of network, um, for example, we have uh, N access networks, okay? So to connect to each other, how many links are required? So we have uh, N case, uh, N minus one multiplied. Pico notation, we need uh, N square connections are required. This is quite expensive. So if we have global ISP and they can connect to global ISP rather than peer-to-peer -peer connection, okay? So we can save money. So also we can divide the small ISP rather than one global ISP, okay? So also we can design and then more um, simple and we can uh, use uh, okay less expensive way so peer link or connect to ISP internet pro um, sort of provider in Korea case SK broadband and KT Korea Telecom and LG plus okay 
they're called major ISP. So also we have uh, internet exchange point. So these are used to connect to each other. Okay. Also regional letter, such as some, okay, Suwon, SKKU, Suwon campus case. This is uh, South Suwon, okay? So South Suwon area network. And access network, we can say um, some campus network, for example. So over this ISP, Google can construct the content provide network, okay? So this figure shows the tier architecture. So tier one ISP, and the next tier is the regional ISP. Okay, so small okay ISP company they run ISP internet service provide. Okay, based on tier one global. Okay, national wide ISP. Also Google can uh, take advantage of the construction of a network. Okay, for content delivery network. Okay, under this tier one or regional ISP, uh, there are ma many access ISP. Okay, uh, this figure showed in the United States uh, network, such as Sprint is one of the major ISP. So you can see Red Dot has a kind of the point of presence, collection of router systems, okay? Okay, next one is a delay loss through in networks, okay? So how do loss and the delay occur? So in the figure, you can see two desktop computer connect to this router and another router here, okay? So packet deliver packet like this, okay? So packet arrive late to link exists output link capacity case packet is uh, queuing up and then this resource is uh, limited right so uh, the queuing up means a queuing delay happen and the loss case this memory is uh, fills up and then there is no room for new arrivals so packet should be dropped so packet loss happen so packet being transmitted okay waiting for its turn the delay and packet queen delay and then free buffer arriving uh, packet uh, dropped okay so there is no free buffer case the packet drop it is called the uh, loss now uh, we can calculate um, nodal delay so nodal delay means sit, uh, packet arrive at this router and then deliver to next hub so Total delay called the nodal delay. So nodal delay is a person of the processing delay, such as a checksum check or CRC check, and so routing lookup. So is called the processing delay. And then this queuing is a packet waiting for another packet departure. This is a queuing delay. Transmission case or packet uh, transmitted by bandwidth, right? So it's called the transmission delay. Propagation delay is uh, the last bit of packet alive delivered to next stop and the whole message is stored and then calculate checksum. Okay, so it is called um, propagation delay. So we uh, sum up four component. Okay, so we can calculate nodal delay. Okay. So packet listed here, processing delay, and queuing delay, and transmission delay, and propagation delay. So transmission delay, we can calculate packet length L divided by the bandwidth. So this ratio is transmission delay. On the other hand, propagation delay is uh, the length of a physical okay, link. The, for example, this is uh, D link the uh, some meter and the divided by the signal propagation okay speed in medium for example two times ten raised to the power eight uh, meter per second so we have this distance over 
speed s, this ratio is propagation delay. So transmission delay and propagation are very different. Okay. So we have a, a carbon analogy. Okay. So uh, we have ten the cars. Okay. So this is called group of car. We can say carbon. So one on the beaker. Okay. We can say one packet. Okay. Ten cars alive here. Ten packets alive at this. Torbus means lower. So each uh, the torbus we get uh, some torp fee, right? So it is called the uh, um, service, okay? Time, bit uh, transmission time, you can say. So how long until carbon is uh, lined up before the second torpus? This 10 is uh, okay, passed through this toll gate and the lineup. Okay, this time, so we can calculate. Okay, so time to push entire carbon case. So each one has a 12 second. We have a 10. So 12 times 10. This second is a pushing time. Last, okay, the car propagation. Okay, moving time. We can calculate, okay, the time for last car to propagate from first boost to second turbo. Okay. So this length is 100 kilometer divided by the speed is 100 kilometer per hour is the speed, right? So eventually one hour. So 60 minutes is propagation delay. So this transmission delay, propagation delay is actually delivery delay. We can say the sum is 60 minutes. So sports cars now propagate this 10 times speed. Okay, so. In that case, uh, we can how to calculate, okay? So after seven minutes, first car alive it, second car boost, okay? So we can divide the by, okay? This 10, 100 kilometer is the same, but speed is, uh, we can see 10 times, okay? So we previously, uh, we have the propagation delay is uh, the 60 minutes, okay? So uh, 10 times the case we can calculate, okay? And so now Torbus uh, takes one minute uh, service. So service time is actually one minute. So previously 12 seconds, right? So and then uh, we can calculate, okay? So problem delay and service time different, you can calculate according to previous example. And the queuing delay, so this graph is important. So horizontal axis is a traffic intensity, okay? So L, message, and length. A is arrival late, like arrival late. So this is uh, actually queuing a lot, uh, some increase late. This R is uh, service late bandwidth okay so this one is the ratio okay is important okay this ratio is uh, less than one case I think it is fine but across to one case less one is uh, close to zero no king delay close to one is the delay is uh, increase like this okay more than one case uh, more work alive and then can be serviced every delay is infinite okay so you can see this is either load network in network case no traffic so delay is uh, very small however this each beaker is packet imagine so conjunction increases and queuing delay increases like this okay so every queuing delay is uh, going up exponentially so, rear internet delays and the root. So, trace root is a program to measure the delay per hop from source to destination. We have one, two, three, four, five hop routers, right? So, the trace root uh, shows the the sequence of the router and the each router delay. Okay. So, sending usually three uh, probes and then calculate. Uh, average delay okay 
So trash lot is a um, Linux uh, command. So from GAIRCS UMS AD is a host computer, and the www.eurocom.fr uh, is destination. So it sent message, okay? So this is the first gateway, the second router, and then certain cases no response, probe lost, router not respond, replying, and the final destination reply this response message. So probe lost, okay. To wait delay is we can calculate this, and then we can calculate the delay, okay. So packet uh, loss. So Q, uh, we can say the buffer proceeding link in buffer has a finite capacity. So it has a finite capacity. The packet arriving to pull Q, so in that case, the packet drop, there is no room for new packet. It is called lost. So lost packet uh, may be retransmitted by previous node, by source and the system, or not at all, okay? Depending on the transmission policy. We can define uh, throughput. So throughput is a late bit per time unit at which the bit transport between sender and receiver, okay? So this is a server and this is a Client, so file requested and the server, okay, send the packet, okay, or file, so toward the client. So in that case, uh, this first network is a narrow band five. This is a wide band, okay. So, so instantaneous, okay, throughput and average throughput. Instantaneous case uh, late at a uh, given certain point in time, however, the light over a certain period, longer period of time. So we can, uh, the bit stream called the fluid, okay, into five. Five is a kind of network link, okay. So this one is this kind of light fluid carry can be done. This is why this is the more given time more wide, which more, okay, amount of packet can be, packet amount of uh, bits can be delivered. So you can see the left hand side, this is uh, less than this one. So this is actually bottleneck, okay? So this is a bottleneck, okay? So what is average end to end throughput, okay? Eventually this bottleneck link determines end to end throughput, okay? So bottleneck link is end to end constraints and to end throughput determines actual throughput. So we have one example internet scenario. So in the middle we have internet network networks. Also we have multiple servers and multiple clients. Okay. So uh, it has some this kind of RC throughput. Okay, link. This is wide five. This is uh, some certain a little wide, okay? So, but this link, client link, or parallel link, okay? Or server side. So in that case, uh, we can calculate the throughput. Also, protocol layer and service model. So protocol layers, uh, networks are complicated. So uh, we have many uh, pieces, uh, such as uh, host, computer, router, system, links of various media, wired, wireless, applications, protocols from physical layer up to application layer, and the hardware software in network system. So the question is, is there any hope of organized structure of a network, or a list of our discussion of networks? So one analogy for protocol stack, so we design uh, talking uh, layers into multiple layers, okay? So one analogy is uh, air travel case, a sequence. So ticketing, baggaging, check, okay. So loading baggage, right? And then you're going to the gate to, okay, boat, airplane. And then the, your airplane run away, take off, 
and then airplane loading according to routing routes and then this is a okay loading from Seoul to London in UK so intermediate is China and uh, some Middle East or something like that okay so and then it arrive at London okay airport and then so landing and then the passenger is going to gate and then get back their baggage back and then if there is some mileage is not accumulated complain and then accumulate their mileage so this uh, series of steps is uh, we can have uh, some analysis for packet delivery okay so layering of airline functionality so this is uh, departure airport this is uh, a library airport in the middle is just the loading we can say this is a source system this is a router this is a destination server okay so each layer implements a service via its own internal layer actions relying on services provided by layer okay below so the region of a layering is dealing with a complex system Explicit the structure allows uh, identification relationship of complex system pieces. So layer architecture is called the reference model is good. We can improve each layer independently. So the management cost and may, um, also development cost is uh, okay. It's good. Okay, comparing just the one layer system. So modulation also eases the maintenance the updating of a system. So the change of one layer transparent to the rest of the system, so we can easily maintain of the protocol stacks. Okay, so one layer change doesn't impact other layers. So internet protocol stack has we have these kinds of layer TCP IP protocol stack. So application layer, transport layer, network layer, link, physical layer. Usually we combine link and the physical layer together. It's called the Ethernet layer. Uh, network layer is IP. Okay, IP layer, and this is a TCP or UDP application case. Uh, the HTTP, FTP, SMTP. This FTP is a file transfer protocol. The SMTP is a mail transfer protocol, okay? This is uh, the web hypertext transfer protocol. So OSI 7 layer, ISO, a standardization body, they standardize the network layers uh, using seven layer from physical link network transport session and presentation and application layer okay so they have a more concrete okay layers so presentation layer allow application to interpret the meaning of data for security encryption decryption for compression decompress compress decompression and the most specific convention okay such as the byte ordering and encoding and session layer case uh, synchronization checkpoint the recovery data usually database system using this kind of session management and the internet stack missing this layer okay however operation layer can be used for those presentation session layer so this figure shows encapsulation okay source Okay, message deliver and then transport layer header, network layer header, link layer header, uh, travel connect to, okay, this one, okay, attach it and then deliver to physical layer and then switch case just a link layer you look up and then router case network layer look up in the this header, okay, in the destination received. So the restriction, the procedure case link layer header detached 
naturate this and the interpolate this and then actual payload the message received by destination process. So you can see the message delivered and the attached transport layer header and the network layer received this one and the network datagram have detached and the link layer case also detached attach frame header and then deliver and then switch case uh, lookup okay link layer header and the lower lookup network layer header and then deliver and then actually uh, forward to destination okay and then uh, networks under attack security so we have uh, many um, some security issue in the network because of the hackers uh, they attack the network okay so internet is not designed against uh, those uh, security attack in mind so bad guys such as uh, uh, hackers they make malicious software is called malware so those malware software can get in host from virus worm okay those kinds of thing okay so virus is a self replicating malware that impacts other computer program or data okay file modifying them usually uh, email attachment is used however the worm case it is a standalone malware just replicated that the message spread to other computer to consume a uh, network bandwidth okay this is one so also spyware case uh, record the uh, keystrokes website visited uh, upload information collect the user information okay so impacted the host is called the botnet okay node to deliver such as a spam message for a DDoS attack Deni distributed denial of service attack okay so denial of a service case the attack um, make resources a server or bandwidth unavailable to a uh, legitimated uh, traffic by our home meaning resource with the bogus traffic so legitimate traffic uh, cannot serve by server because bogus traffic means the target for example DNS server and the botnet node okay sending some garbage traffic and then this guy is busy with that bogus traffic so uh, legitimate uh, traffic such as DNS query cannot be served by target server by DNS server okay so also we have uh, uh, two another attacks sniff and uh, spoof okay so sniffing case you can see the a and b they come each other and then this guy is uh, looking at the still some information such as the password okay leading the packet okay and the spoofing case this guy is a pretend okay changing some actual each um, source IP address uh, using the node B another one right so this pretend and uh, try to send the first source uh, address uh, traffic to A okay it is called spoofing so the now I will explain internet uh, history okay so internet uh, is developed from uh, 1961 through 1972 early packet switching principles are designed okay so the professor Klein Lock, uh, he designed packet switching method also he suggested the queuing theory to show effectiveness of packet switching and the Brown Brown is the packet switching okay in the military network so you can see this is original um, in the past so universities in the California UC Santa 
Barbara, UCSB and UCLA and uh, Utah. So uh, other organization, especially okay, so military related uh, some organization and uh, university they constructed ARPANET. Okay, so ARPANET is a public uh, demo for internet. And then 1972 through 98, so internet is involving. So involving introducing Aloha wireless network in Hawaii, and also Surf and Khan invented so some algorithm for some TCP something like that. Uh, Surf and Khan international principle. Okay, so they provide uh, some internet models. Okay. And then the internet developed by Zero Park, and then also other competing network ATM, asynchronous transfer mode. Okay, also compete. Okay, precursor. Some ATM, some idea is provided, and then expanded the ARPANET to have. A 200 nodes and then uh, 98 99 so developed many TCP IP applications uh, email SMTP simple message transfer protocol and the DNS domain name system translate uh, domain name into IP address and Fire transfer protocol at PP and TCP transmission uh, control protocol. Also, um, conjunction control invented. So more hosts are connected to internet. And ninety nine. This is a very important uh, era because of World Wide Web developed. Okay, so only 99 World Wide Web okay so the bonus Lee his PhD dissertation um, pro proposed HTML okay and the ATP okay hypertext markup language document okay invented also this document can be interacted using over HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. So initial the web browser is Mosaic. Later on the Netscape are used, okay, and then Microsoft, okay, uh, Internet Explorer also developed. Nowadays Google Chrome is uh, the most popular one. Okay, so and then um, ninety nine through two thousand. So peer-to-peer -peer application also developed and served. And the 2005 present, 750 million hosts are connected, including smartphone and tablet. So now there's more aggressive development and deployment of network okay, access uh, is uh, happening. Also, high-speed uh, wireless access provided by 5G. Okay. Also, we have uh, the 11N services for higher wireless uh, service, and uh, service providers such as Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple create their own network. Okay. Provide uh, content. Also, e-commerce uh, such as Amazon. Um, is two services for cloud service is provided. So far, I explained introduction to computer network course. Um, from now on, I explain the two homeworks for this course. The homework one, first the programming homework. Is, first one is a homework one, and network socket programming uh, is provided. So. Just a uh, little problem solving case, homework one, homework two, 
Actually, homework 1 is homework 3 for this course, homework 2 is homework 4 actually. But first implementation homework is routing information protocol RIP. So you can see the hosts are connected to local area network, okay, using this switch over herb to router. So you can construct this network and forward the IP packet toward the destination host using routing protocol. So routing protocol set up routing table or forwarding table in each router. Okay? So the sorted path between host one, host two is router one, router two, router three, and host two, right? So this homework case using emulation, it is called a LAN emulation, local area network emulation. So one computer actually to many computer network system, host, hub, or switch, and the router, okay? And then we can make this port, porting pass using RIP routing protocol, okay? This is your first, the homework, okay? So the sort is pass between host one Mercury and host to Pekka. This is the pass. Second implementation homework is the vehicular network simulation. Vehicular network simulation with the simulation tool OMNet plus plus and the sumo. Okay, so this is OMNet plus plus for network simulator, and sumo is load network simulator implement the load network and the vehicle mobility, okay? So the OMNet++ also includes the, the base. The base is for vehicular the networking, such as Elta 11 P or OCB mode for vehicular wireless network, okay? So media access, emission, behavior, mobility, physical layer, also traffic efficiency, safety, comfort, application can be implemented over veins, okay, this uh, library or module. So your homework 2 case, this is uh, sumo, so you can see this load network, the small one is a vehicle, so we have also traffic light here. And the mirroring network simulator is OMN++, actual network load implemented uh, this OMN++, okay? Each node is, uh, structure is like this, okay? Vehicle structure contains uh, network interface card, the NIC card, Elder 11 p This uh, one is uh, wireless access technology for vehicle. So internet, this one layer is a uh, wider network interface, okay? And the network layer, we have IP version 4, IP version 6 layer. Also, transport layer case, uh, UDP, TCP implemented. Over this transport layer, we have application, protocol application. Okay. Also, after the uh, 11 P or OCB. So, providing um, wave sort message protocol, providing vehicle sort message for safety. So, in the homework 2 case, you implement the vehicle mobility based on sumo and actual packet generation in terms of Wi-Fi and uh, some IP version 6 and uh, UDP or TCP deliver some message over OMNet plus plus network simulator. So your homework is um, you can see vehicle 1 configure each IP policy address uh, using this uh, vehicle add-on network. So deliver registration message toward the mobility anchor, this is server, and then uh, it register IP address for the vehicle one, okay? And then confirm the address of registration and then deliver to word uh, vehicle one over intermediate vehicle forward, vehicle three, vehicle two, okay? So 
This is called the uh, vehicle neighbor discovery for IP one six address auto configuration. Okay, so homework two case, uh, we provide the uh, basic some code template, and then we omit omit intentionally some import module just uh, with the comment. So you're looking at the comment, you can fill in the code to complete this uh, vehicle neighbor discovery project. The summary, um, I explained, okay, the introduction to computer networks, okay? So we reviewed the internet overview, what the protocol, network edge core, access network, and performance, uh, layering, architecture, security, um, history. Also, I explained two implementation of homeworks, okay? So you know the context overview feel of networking. So you are ready to study introduction to computer networks, okay? So more depth detail to follow in the class, okay? So enjoy the journey to computer networking. Thank you for your attention.